Before we get started, I have two theories I want to tell you. This is a different intro. You want to hear this. The first theory, it's a very fun theory. Don't take it seriously. So, Wilhelm, right? Grim Reaper blessing, injury, opens whatnot, and there's a connection. People are saying, well, what if it's gluttony, right? Gluttony, you know, lies showed up, and now Wilhelm's wound is opening. What does it imply? This implies that because Theresia had the Grim Reaper blessing, some people are saying that Wilhelm and Lai, uh, sorry, Wilhelm and Theresia's son is Lai, which makes no fucking sense. The age difference, none of that shit make sense. Lai is 13 years old. I got a better theory, right? Hear me out. Lai has jagged teeth. What does that mean? Demi human like Frederica. What does that mean? Wilhelm is such a deadbeat husband that never told Frederica, sorry, Theresia, that I love you. That Theresia, during the war against the demi-humans, fucked a demi-human. And lie is the byproduct of bestiality. <laughs> yep. Yep, there it is. That's the theory. Of course it doesn't make sense, but that's the theory. Theresia ain't beating the allegation. She's also white. Von Austria is a Caucasian name. You've seen how much baiting white girls do with dogs and horses on social media, right? So think about that. Second theory, this is where it gets serious, okay? Let's get serious now. This theory is actually... Maybe I'm cooking. Roswell. Let's think about what Roswell's doing. Roswell's actions contradict his goals. What is his goal? Make Amelia queen so he can slay the dragon. That's what was said in season one. Yet. At every point, Roswell seems to contradict that he's never present when we need him the most. Someone so careful, so methodical, someone so ready to prepare for things. Someone, a schemer, is just casually gone in Arc 2 and Arc 3 and only shows up when he needs to. Biko mentioned that I'm different from Roswell because even if my future isn't you know, secured, I'm willing to help you out. That's what happened, right? When Subaru and Amelia were thrown out and Amelia's corpse dropped on the ground, implying that every run Roswell's plan is still according to his plan. Even though there are failed runs, it works. So, I'm thinking... Roswell... Don't get mad at me. Roswell... Has regression abilities. Like Subaru. But... Wait, 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 wait. But... He lets Subaru... Take on the charts like a lab rat. Because he's so cautious. So in every run, he's letting this fucker just go in and try to solve everything by himself and only interferes to help when he needs to, like in the Ender Arc 2. Now, this theory will get fleshed out. We're going to tweak it here and there, but that's the base draft idea with what we know right now by Season 2, Episode 2, right? Maybe I'm cooking, maybe I'm not. I still need to know more about like the witch factor and shit, but it just feels like Roswell is content with Natsuki Subaru trying to solve shit and he'll simply somehow guide or help him here like at the end of arc 2 when he showed up with fucking Ulgoa. Now, we are in presumably the sanctuary. We're about to meet Dark Amelia, Echidna. Let's begin today's reaction. Mm. Yeah, but you said Witch of Greed, like Witch of Envy, Santala is scary as fuck, so like this is probably someone we should be very cautious of. Mm. <laughs> RE0, baby. <laughs> Windows XP. <laughs> but like, the witches have all been consumed by Satala, the Witch of Envy. None of them exist, and then and then Satala was sealed away by the dragon, the hero, and the sage. So, is this like some sort of soul land, like a different dimension? Witch's tea party. There's a seat right there. Let's take it. Alright. <laughs> What if she poisoned that? <laughs> well, apparently this is like a soul land, right? This is not like a physical manifestation of her body, so fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, how are you making these teas? <laughs> what do you mean body fluid? You boiling yourself? Did you literally put your feet in a fucking tea kettle, boil that shit, and put it here? What the fuck did you put in that? 
こうして普通に少女すぎて普通だったら目がつぶれるってか I mean In terms of like pure aesthetics a k i d n a I think is like super hot probably hotter than Amelia I don't know だからね<笑>美少女すぎて普通だったら目がつぶれるってか常に目の保養してるんだだからお前のことを見ても別にそんな大して可愛いの人なら僕の前に立つと吐くんだよ面白い Most normal people vomit when they stand before. Huh? What do you, what do you mean, vomit? I'm not going to be a good person. I'm not going to be a good person. Are we having fun? I'm not going to be a good person. I'm not going to be a good person. Okay. No, we need to ask her. I, I have so many questions. What is the witch factor? What is the witch factor? What is the day of the ordeal? How are the archbishops and witches connected? What are you and Regulus Corneas' relationship? Because you're both representing greed. Where are we? How does, this, how does regression powers work? Can I mention Satala in front of her? I have returned by death. What if I say that right now? I, I can return by death right now in this realm. I don't know. There's so many questions, dude. Am I pride? Who is pride, Archbishop? What is the gospel? Constellations? Space? Stars? Constellations? How does that work? I don't know. That of the witch of gluttony, Daphne, another witch mentioned with the fucking name. Who created beasts that defied the will of God to save the world from starvation? Save the world from starvation? Well, we know gluttony, white whale. Before in the past, Puck says, white whale is called gluttony, but now it's white whale. Created beasts. So white whale was created by gluttony. What else is there? But the season one dialogue said, like, fucking, uh, the Witch of Envy created these monsters. But, I mean, Echidna's telling me it, so I'm going to believe Echidna. There's also the Frozen Bond, the Black Serpent. People said that that's on the, like, the same tier as the White Whale. And if you look at the naming schemes, White Whale, Black Serpent, who created beasts, plural. So maybe that's in the same category, but they exist to save the world from starvation? How the fuck? Well, I mean, we killed a whale and we brought the whale carcass home to feed people, right? <laughs> a lot of whale blubber, I guess. What about the snake? I don't see it. The fucking venom is like sentient and follows you. Scary. Daphne. Carmilla. Lust Carmilla, who granted emotions to non-human beings in an attempt to fill the world with love. Did she make demi like beasts like animals horny and they start to fuck everything? Right? Emotions to non-human being. What's a non-human being? I don't know, but they fucking, their birth rate's going low. If only the Witch of Lust can exist in Japan, South Korea, and other nations where the birth rate's is dropping in right now. Carmilla. Wrath. Minerva. Wrath Minerva. Who hurt in hopes of healing as she lamented the state of her war-torn world. This is very abstract. She hurts. Who? In hopes of healing, as she lamented the state of her world. Her world? She has a different wrath. Minerva is from a different world. Minerva. Sloth. Segment. Remember the lore about that the great dragon? It it's beyond the great waterfall, right? And if you look at the re-zero map, I think the great waterfall is like kind of like south pointing. Who drove a dragon past the great waterfall just for a chance to rest? Who's resting? The dragon. Or fucking Sekhmet or other people? I don't know, but Sekhmet sent the dragon there. Pride mentioned. Pride, pride. That's very familiar with our characteristics. Typhon, Typhon. Pride, who out of youthful innocence, so she's like a lolly, who innocence and cruelty judged criminals one after another. So she uses, I don't know, she's just super brutal to criminals. They all just fucking die, 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 bad. Echidna. 
thirst for knowledge. She's greedy for knowledge. And you've done many things she regrets. <laughs> Even in the realm of death. Are, is this the realm of death right now? I don't know where we're at. All in the pursuit of all types of knowledge. So she's super greedy. Every which has like a sin that they represent and everything that they did, you know, is akin to that sin. She wants knowledge. <laughs> Satala. Oh, these are just the scenes that we saw in last season, right? Yeah, yeah, it's when he says you're not him and just like killed Betrugus, kind of. Wow. <sighs> well, Sato was kind of scary as fuck because, you know, what she does with their fucking gripping our heart, but that was a lot of lore, huh? So, like, some of the lore is very abstract, like Minerva, about like hopes of healing a war torn world, stuff like that. The gluttony stuff was very interesting, right? The beasts, somehow it's supposed to help the world. The sloth one was interesting with the dragon lore and the great waterfall, right? Uh, what else was there? That's pretty much it. But, but other ones, I don't know, it's not enough information. It's just like one liners, but makes you think. Gluttony and sloth is very interesting. And everything that the witch is. Are you drinking your own piss? How does that work? Is she drinking her own body fluids? I guess she is. But like... She had a justification. Everything like the other witches did apparently was like for the world, right? It seemed like it. It's somehow like the, what the witches did was like not totally evil, but there was like a reason. <laughs> is that because she drank the tea? She drinks tea and then Subaru gets all crazy. Because Subaru also drank tea before. Maybe there's some sort of precondition. We drank the tea, she drank the tea, now Subaru has undergone some sort of transformation? What's that? Compatible to what? Yeah. Okay, so we do have the sloth witch factor. So, I thought like, I, I thought like, because like, be a quick question about the sloth the witch factor. And this isn't just any witch factor, it's sloth witch factor. So there's like envy witch factor, like, like lust witch factor. It's not like a generic witch factor. I thought it just like went away because Super didn't even know what the fuck it was. But I guess it's in him. Strengthen your resistance to what? Okay, what's a witch factor? Another instance where Natsuki Subaru does something so fucking like out of nowhere and then it just like like for example like riding in the fucking gospel with his blood that's another act of like impulse that like results into something significant he just drinks the tea immediately like he sees Emilia's necklace like glowing and even though it's supposed to help us cross the barrier he fucking takes it off and goes himself like he does a lot of things by impulse out of fucking nowhere and then it just like it just drives the plot forward. You greedy for me? Raising a witch? Uh -oh. Does that mean that we've reached, we've raised two witches now? Because Satala loves us for no reason. Echidna too, maybe? Yes. Unharmed graveyard. Because in the trailer, we saw piles of body leading up to the tea party, right? Witch's graveyard. Soul. See, another active impulse? Directly touches a witch and shakes her, bro. <laughs> Look at that. Is that all the そう、友。君の願い通り遺跡の外は聖域だ。さ。ああ、それは保証するけど。<笑><笑> Well, I think that she starved for like a conversation. Last episode too, she said it's been a long time since I've talked to anybody. So she's probably like super bored and this is like interesting, right? <laughs> That's, I guess more intel here, bro. <laughs> and like, 
she said so that is the root of your desire is interesting and then she, and then we showed up here i'm not sure if she understands who amelia is or if they have a past but it'd be funny if they like hate each other or some shit and she just got like cucked by amelia somehow but this scene i don't know like there's so much information we could ask her about like what the hell even is a witch factor right like there's so many things roswell's intentions do you even know roswell but we're just gonna leave i guess so <laughs> Very cute. Very cute seeing the Witch of Greed act like this, huh? <laughs> See you later. Is this the same shit that Bieko does? You know how Bieko also opens up like wormholes and shit and like ports to different places? I'm not sure. This kind of looked like that, right? I mean, what is this? Opening up a different dimension? Who knows? I feel like this is what Bieko did. Money? What? So, okay. Uh, I'm not, I don't know what a vow is. I know what a vow is, but what I'm confused about is, is this the same as an oath? Because in ReZero, these words are very specific, right? A pact and a fucking contract is totally separate things. Puck made an oath to this girl, according to Frozen Bond. But this is a vow. Maybe a vow doesn't have a punishment. If you break the vow, it's not the same. Okay, but an oath is like super serious. You break the shit, there's actual punishments. Okay, secret. Souvenir. Trial. Isn't that what Amelia is supposed to do? Frederica was like, location, qualification, now you need the will to, and the resolve to overcome the sanctuary. Overcome what? A trial. Subaru is doing it instead because he took the fucking blue crystal shit to get through the barrier. And Amelia's knocked out. He goes sees Echidna. I mean, this kind of worked out, right? Getting in contact with Echidna got us some more intel, but not as much as I wanted. Mm. Okay. Chest and it licks her finger. <laughs> okay, sure. So do I indeed. Uh... <laughs> okay, the first lick was like, okay. The second and third lick, oh my god, Jesus. Evil witch. Yeah. Bye bye. And for plot reasons, we don't get more plot. So many questions, bro. If I was there, I wouldn't leave. It would be a fucking 14 hour stream. I just ask her questions. I have a fucking list just ready to ask, but like, we're not gonna get anything because Natsuki Subaru don't care about her. He cares about Amelia. All right, bye bye. <laughs> EMT. Oh, he forgot the memories. I thought that it was like, you won't tell anybody this shit, but I guess erasing the memories. Yo, wasn't there er memory erasing magic that was forbidden? There was, wasn't there? Someone mentioned memory erasing magic was forbidden. Was that a... Was that an Annie News video we watched? I, I forget. But it seems like Subaru has lost the memories of the tea party shit because Echidna just made, made him make a vow, right? Was that Wistoria? Oh, that's Wistoria? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's so many enemies watching right now. Okay, it's, this is not the memory erasing magic that I was referring to. Oh. Garfield. <laughs> Fucking clutch. That's gotta be Garfield, though. It's got the pointy teeth. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Bro, why is the boss being playing? <laughs> oh, he has one too. He has the thing that can get past the barrier. 
I'm not gonna hurt you. Suplex is Patrash foaming at the mouth. <laughs> no, Patrash. Can we talk? <laughs> nice call. Great call. <laughs> Thought about it. Don't know. I'm a beat your ass. And so he's a very unreasonable person. Okay. He's like a guardian of the sanctuary because he's trying to kick intruders out. Huh? How the hell did you know I have anything to do with Frederica? Yo, he's stupid as fuck. <laughs> Am I being specious right now? Am I being racist? I mean, Frederica literally told us of you. How the hell did you know I have anything to do with Frederica? The teeth, the jacket teeth, everything about you? The hair color? Yeah, dumb dumb. Poor Oto, bro. Oto is straight up just a punching bag. Yeah, a some really weird things. <laughs> he says some really weird words like even Emilia doesn't even say. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm asking. Is there a translation glitch? Very uh, do I have the right subtitles? <laughs> No. Amelia. Yo. Amelia so strong Okay. I think that there was cut content about how Ram trust. Starfield, right? It wasn't in season one, the direct passage, but apparently in the light novel source material. Yeah, we're in. Oh, Subaru took it out. Yeah, you idiot. Because you took it off of? Her while it was activating? I'm not sure. Hmm. Could she's a half elf? Could she has the qualifications? I don't know. Mixed blood. <laughs> Mixed blood, it reacts that way. Oh, there's more interesting lore. Okay, Garfield, you're half cat, half human? I'm not sure. Mixed blood. Alright. Sanctuary for demi-humans. Because like, there is the war of the humans versus the demi-humans that was like very like glossed over in Frozen Bond, but also that scene where Wilhelm was being saved by Teresia in season one, that was the war. But after the war, uh, demi-humans do exist in Lagunica, just a capital city, but I guess this is like a special safe place for them? Testing ground? Dead end testing ground. Oh, it does not look like a sanctuary here. It does not. What the hell is happening? Is Roswell doing human, demi human experimentations here, bro, with this magic? Ram. Looks like we're sticking with Barusu this time rather than Balls. B A L S C was the uh, interpretation that the sub team went with because of the connection to the floating castle that Subaru has a link to, and the English, you know, interpretation was like a, it's like their own free way of doing it, right? Of course, it's not it's Barusu, but B A L S C. There was like a actual lore of like. Floating castle shit, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Signature. 
Ram Signature. Tai go made some set deals and a key. エミリアワルサマがお待ちですのでご案内いたします。ゲームでアンサーズ。ガーフは両者と業者を適当なところまで。そこがいいんだが。ああ、業者。Looks <laughs> 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 Wait, what was the nickname he called him this time? Yo, Cabby. よしやろ、続けこい。それ僕のことですか今までで最悪の認識なんですけどっていうからだと言ってません。ポロって。何言ってんだ。俺が気絶してる間、お前がいてくれたから。お、お、いや、ま、感謝の気持ちがあるなら
long time ago by Satala. Because Satala consumed all six witches, right? I'm not sure exactly what might have happened, but Echidna met her end here. Okay. Vow. Showing respect to a witch after they died and calling it a sanctuary, is, is that like a good thing? How does that make sense? Unless you think that the witches are good people. Because the witch died here and now it's a sanctuary. That kind of makes sense, right? Like if it's an honor of Echidna, that's like, what the fuck? But if it's like, oh, a witch has died here, therefore it's a sanctuary. Eh, I'm not sure. But Mather's family, this is what they do here, okay? You wouldn't correct someone to say a kidna unless you respected them like that, right? Like he's like, nah, not the witch of freed, a kidna, say the name. Okay, my bad. Mm. This soundtrack is diabolical, bro. Like, um, the, uh, the cult member, Betrigu's soundtrack, that the, the choir hymn was also very good, but, like, like, the whole soundtrack right now, it, I think it does captivate, like, Roswell's, perhaps, like, madness. Like, look at him, right? He's fucking crazy. Okay. Mori I thought that they stayed here intentionally because Roswell wanted Subaru and Amelia to show up to the sanctuary, right? Because the letter was sent to Federica. Like, this is still according to Roswell's plan. It's not like maybe it is because he's hurt. That's why I was like, is he faking his injuries? I don't know. But like, I'm still assuming that this is his plan to bring Natsuki Subaru here and for him to do what? Learn something? To meet Echidna? Like, what is it? House arrest. <laughs> you motherfucker. You trapped us here. For what purpose? To overcome the trials of the fucking sanctuary? For what? What are you trying to make us do here? We know the trial. Roswell wanted Amelia to be stuck here. For what purpose, bro? And he got injured by going through the trial? What the f- what? What? Wait, 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 wait. Those who go through that and still come in here are never allowed to leave. What about Frederica? Frederica is a mixed blood. But maybe she didn't go through that. That Going through that. You see what happened when you come into contact with the barrier. The crystal light, maybe that didn't happen with Frederica. It's not just mixed blood. This needs to happen, and then you need to be mixed blood. And then you're locked in. <laughs> So and that's why Echidna says, now you should be able to take the trial as well. And by the time when that comes, I wonder if you'll, how you'll feel about it. Subaru could be super fucked up if you try to do the trial without whatever Echidna did to us, but now it's fine, so we should be thankful towards that. Roswell got fucked up by clearing the trial. The Roswell's goal did he just try to trial for fun? Did he not know it's going to fuck him up? I don't know. What happens if you overcome the trial? What is the purpose? Roswell could have left. I don't know if he's mixed blood or not, actually. I have no clue. Amelia, though. Roswell's intention is for Amelia to clear the trial. And once you do that, 
What happens? What do you gain from that? I don't know why this is so funny here. <laughs> Look at the lines. Yeah. Yeah. Three meals <laughs> Something about that with the soundtrack is hilarious. Because, like, what he said seems pretty generous. Three meals and a fucking nap? That's better than most people living on Earth outside of the sanctuary, bro. <laughs> and then it's like reaction frame to Chameleon in Subaru. <gasps> Three meals? Nap? <gasps> Amelia needs to clear it, man. They're all kept hostage. Oh, dude! The, uh, the Archbishop of Lust. Granny, grope, Miss, Miss Granny who gropes Subaru ass. And the Archbishop of... <laughs> Where is he? The missing Archbishop of Pride. Why is he Pride? Because uh, he threw away his pride to pretend to be like he has dementia and he acts like the fake village chief and everyone appointed him village chief because they felt bad for him. Yup, yup, pride here <laughs> and lust both locked in. It's cool to see the granny and grandpa show up again though, but they all locked up here. Man, the whole scene from behind was some crazy shit. The maniacal fucking, like, Usually clown music is like goofy. This clown music was scary. That soundtrack was very fucking intense. Roswell has brought Amelia and Subaru here so that Amelia will pass the trial. If you don't pass it, you'll never leave. People are even held hostage right now. So good luck, Amelia. Try, try your best. Yo, yo. <laughs> Our Lord. If only they knew. Because, like, Roswell is not some, some fucking god that's so generous and, like, sacrificed himself for these people. I doubt it. He, he fucking intentionally brought these dudes here as hostages to keep them in check. Nice. Mm. Mm. Yeah. No, but like, Echidna says he, like he can do the trial too. Echidna says like, with this, like, you should be able to do the trial, so that's interesting. Super could do it, Amelia can do it. <laughs> oh my god, listen, when I say that he can do it, like, I, I understand that he forgot. I'm just simply pointing out the details in the show. You don't have to fucking comment and try to fucking correct me when you don't even understand what I'm trying to say right now, okay? Don't try to fucking gaslight me because you're confused in what I'm saying. But when, when Emilia shows up, this is not a look of confidence from the people. People are like, oh, it's the half devil. Shit. <laughs> Module. Which? <laughs> it's so bad. But baby steps. You gotta start from somewhere. Maybe by the end of the season. Amelia will be leading the people of paradise, saying, Tatakai, we march on. Just like how Krush was like leading the people, you know? Maybe she can have a speech like that. You gotta start somewhere, right? So Amelia needs to prove her worth to these people and they will overcome their prejudice and their bias for the half devil and maybe this is gonna be a good thing. Oh shit, this is my candidate, we're cooked. Oh no, god damn, we're gonna... Chief? I, I thought this is random sexual assaulter. <laughs> what do you mean, chief? So this is the real chief? And then the grandpa's the fake. Wait, wait, this is lore. This is actual fucking lore. I love this. 
一つだけお聞かせ願いたい。村長。Okay. なくしどもに頭をお下げになっ。This is amazing. I love side characters, especially those trivial characters that you never think matters. She's actually having lines after groping Subaru's ass before. Like, this is amazing. Broom guy. Damn. Granny opened her eyes, bro. This is a serious deal. She never opens them. She always doesn't close. You know these characters when they open their eyes, they are for fucking their own business right now. <sighs> Prove to them. Come on, Amelia. EMT. Okay. みんなの家族と過ごしましたそれで家族は一緒にいなくちゃダメだって Aww And you know what's really sad about this? Especially after watching Frozen Bond, man <sighs> That's so sad She got nobody And she's saying this Oh man, this is so sad Father Fuck, where did she go? So, I promised you to go to the end The reason is That's the only one That's the only one Mm. Mm. Oh, are you friends? Wait, hold up. You remember that episode where Anastasia told us the art of the deal, right? Art of the deal negotiation. And what did Subaru did there that Anastasia thought was a rookie mistake when trying to convince people? Sentimental value, right? Trying to lead the negotiation. Well, this is not a negotiation, right? But you're still convincing people. He said that, like, something about, like, having sentimental value. Like, like give me actual reason to support you. I mean, she offered the whole family's uniting thing. But Amelia's way of, you know, going through the emotional approach, I think it's working. Also, the fucking soft piano soundtrack. That's a huge buff. Emilia-sama. Good answer. There's different ways to convince people, man. Amelia has a totally, she's a totally different character from like Subaru and Anastasia, right? So like this emotional approach, you know, saying like we will reunite your families, it's working. It's going good. She got friends. Because she's a frozen uh, half elf from ancient times, right? Yeah, Barusu is influencing her. I think that Barusu is doing a good job in like guiding Amelia, right? Because of course, this isn't all just Amelia's effort alone, but Barusu is like putting Amelia up in these situations for her to grow, so it's, it's pretty good, right? Nice assist. Ram was so shocked. Alright, back at this ruins. Bless her spirits. Alright. Wait, what do you mean support? Did you get enough support from the lesser spirits? So like, was she, was she just getting hyped up by the lesser spirits here? What do you mean support? Because like, she's a spirit art. Is there a cheerleader? You can do it, Amelia! Yeah! You go, girl! Keep your head up, queen. Don't let that tiara fall down. <laughs> Trial, you can do it. That's what the lesser spirits are doing right now. Let's go. For me. Oh. He had it ready. EMC. Look how annoyed. Ram looks disgusted here. If only you could see her face more zoomed in. She looks absolutely fucking disgusted here, bro. A million times. Major challenge. Cringe Riz.
qualifications. But Frederica says you need to have the location and you're qualified to qualification. So Holy shit. How many wins? Win on? Win on? <laughs> Win on with an H? Win on with no H? Win Tao? Win Quinn? Fong Hui? Dude, the Vietnamese are just hard carrying white fox, huh? Holy shit, let's go, my Vietnamese soldiers. No qualification? <laughs> Is she good? The light's not supposed to go out as long as the trial's going on. <laughs> we're cooked. Emily steps one foot and we're already cooked. <laughs> it's over already. <laughs> well, I don't expect her to clear it immediately. Like, I expect her to fail a couple times. <laughs> and now he's gonna fucking do the trial. Because he's qualified. Of course he doesn't know, but Kidna helped him out though. So... Emilia already failed. The super goes in. He's gonna clear it himself? Okay. Qualified. That was his own voice. That was his own voice. Yeah, she's, she's fucking down on the ground, but you need to face your own past. We're getting backstory? Backstory time? <laughs> what kind of figurine? Are these all half elves? Imagine all the figurines are just silver haired, like half elf looking girls, bro. That's why he has such an obsession with Amelia. I mean, the hair color seems all silver ish, right? They all have the silver white hair aesthetic, I think. <laughs> Daddy's Giga Chat? Good morning, Miss Cole! Dude, the dad is definitely on trend. He is cycling. This kind of muscle. What the hell? I mean, you see how Super is also jacked too, right? Super has like 70 kilogram grip strength and shit, so like I guess he gets it from the dad. Like he's got a good build. <laughs> Dad's shirtless training. Okay, dad. The long-awaited reunion. And the reunion could be many things right now, right? Subaru and Dad through this... Some sort of trial. The reunion between Ram and us. Roswell and us. I don't know. But that's today's episode of ReZero, man. Holy shit. Where do I even start? How about we start with the Teristia bestiality theory that she cheated on Wilhelm because he was a deadbeat husband and she fucked the dog and that's how a lie the current Archbishop of Gluttony is born through the jagged teeth, right? And that's why he also has the blessing of the Grim Reaper and that's why Wilhelm's wound is open <laughs> now. No, we're not going that route. I still like it though. <laughs> that's one of my favorite theories even though it makes no fucking sense. Um, Echidna, Witch of Greed. Unfortunately, we were not able to get all the information we wanted. Honestly, more questions than answers at this point, right? Because even though she gave us a brief explanation of different uh, things that each witch has done, and I think Gluttony is one of the most interesting, right? The creator of the beast, obviously this is the white whale, and maybe the black serpent that we saw in for, uh, the Frozen Bonds, as well as Sloth, about driving the dragon beyond the Great Waterfall, and that was lore that we heard about how the dragon is beyond the Great Waterfall and still looks over the Dragon Kingdom of Lugunica, and... There are some other witches' lures too, but it was just kind of like vague abstract one-liners. Maybe we'll be, we'll be able to get more like cut content off of that as well, right? Echidna helped us out, right? Without Echidna's help here, we would have never gone into the trial because we're not qualified. There is a sloth witch factor apparently that's been stimulated. What does it mean to stimulate the sloth witch factor and strengthen your resistance? Well, probably strengthen your resistance against the trial... I mean, fucking Roswell got all fucked up. He's all wrapped up, so that means that we have been protected. We got stimulated our wish factor, and that's why we are now qualified for the trial is maybe what that is. I'm not too sure. I'm surprised that he did not fold for Echidna, knowing how much simping he does for white-haired girls. This place is a sanctuary, but apparently this is where Echidna died a long time ago. And Roswell's family holds great respect for the name Echidna, you know? Say her name, not the title. 
Um, other than that, right? The Kidna just like, we don't send her. We basically raise her up by just denying this girl of a good conversation because she's probably so lonely here. But I'm sure this isn't the last time we're going to see her, right? I'm sure we're going to meet again. This scene looked like a portal that Biaku was fucking making later on. Garfield seems like a, just like an angry fucking... <laughs> I don't want to sound racist or specious, but goddamn, he is just fucking hot-headed beast man, man. Garfield seems to be whipped by Ram. Roswell is near. And remember, I just feel like Roswell's plans, this is all according to his plan still. He wants Amelia to overcome the trial. Maybe he wants Subaru to overcome the trial. I'm not really sure what his game is, but he's just here wrapped up in band-aids. And Amelia has a pretty good moment just cheering up the, the villagers. And potentially there's friendship here. So if she overcomes the trial and delivers her promise and leads them to paradise, then Amelia's rapport against the people, right? She's going to get the support and things are going to look good. Maybe it's going to be a huge Amelia development arc, but <laughs> seeing as she's already fucking knocked out like this and she went in and the light went off, I'm not too sure. So that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.